Now, maybe I'm just a little off in the head, but uh, I got no interest in dating. And not because, you know, how people are like, oh, men ain't men are trash, women are this. You know, it's not the name game. I don't really care about that. I do think both sides of y'all, y'all are only there for the good times, right? Mm. As soon as things get tough, you're out. Mm. <laughs> you're out. You're done. You don't want anything to do with it. I want to go through the mud with somebody. I want to be at my absolute lowest point. But I want to have someone there to do it. You want to know why? Because I grew up, that's the couples I idolized. I was like, wow. They went through it all together. You know, they made it happen. And that just doesn't happen anymore. You don't see that. You never see that. Because let's be honest. We want to take the path of least resistance. And our love and affection has a price on it to an extent. Now, I agree with him completely. I would love to be in a relationship, but the type of person that I am and, you know, having boundaries and having a lot of respect for myself, I will not be putting up with cheating. I will not be putting with abuse. I will not be putting up with a lot of stuff. You know what I mean? But everything else I can deal with. Like if you're depressed, you're going through things, you're financially struggling, you know, you might meet, we might not see eye to eye. I'm a fighter, baby. I fight for what I love. And I'm all about that. You guys, like I'm really good when it comes to that, especially communicating. I do not stonewall. I will not ignore you. I will engage in the conversation. I already know what to do when it comes to relationship dynamics, but I hate when you meet people where you're all in all the time and they're not in it. And then the moment shit gets hard, people leave and run. You know what's sad? People think that relationships are all happy and dandy because of social media. You see all the perks and all that stuff. No, there's a lot of couples who bicker, who fight, who go through things and still love each other. But I feel like we need to normalize couples actually going through the hard parts and getting with each other and lasting but no one's saying go through uh, verbal abuse emotional abuse i'm not saying stuff like that but if you guys aren't seeing eye to eye and you guys are ignoring each other or instead of talking it through i'm gonna go out and party how do you think the relationship is gonna work if you keep running away from it if you run from a problem it only gets bigger now i really feel like this generation would flourish with relationships if one you got with the person and love them for who they are and stop trying to change them you let that person be their be their own person and you know you give them advice here and there but you're not controlling them you guys are both having a good time you don't shame each other for the decisions you guys make and the mistakes you guys make nothing but forgiveness laughter solves it all and i'm telling you do it all the damn time do it two three times a week i swear to god and you guys are like oh that's too much it's not too much it's not enough baby and another thing compliment each other be all about each other i understand it gets repetitive but if you're gonna be with this person I always say this, why make your dynamic chaotic when you can make it all about love? You set the tone in your relationship, make it work. I don't understand why people say they want love, but then when they get in it, they're scared. Nah, baby, go in head first, baby, and love. Don't be scared.